for a while there. Um, we acquired the first three phases and there wasn't much left over in the, the bond funds that we had utilized and our partners had utilized. And when the pandemic hit, it uh, certainly didn't look like we were going to be in a position to to um, take this down. Fortunately, we, we stayed in contact with representatives of the property owners. And when the fortunes of the state budget um, appeared to be improving quite a bit um, and the funding, um, a, a large chunk of this is from Senator Stern and his efforts to keep this moving. Um, and that, I think, really provided the, the um, critical mass for us to, to continue that conversation with the with the property owners as they had other deals that may have been pending that didn't pan out and they came back to us because frankly they had a good experience with the MRCA and Conservancy in the first three phases. We developed a relationship and a rapport with them and at least the local representatives were very supportive of this acquisition happening and, and reaching this deal with us. So when the funds were, were made available, um, we got a commitment from uh, Los Angeles County from the Calabasas landfill fees and the additional funding provided to the conservancy through the general fund, um, you know, direct allocation. Uh, this became a reality and we quickly went back and, and inked this deal with the, the property owners subject to all of the funding being approved, of course. Um, and we're, we're really happy to bring this to you today. It'll be fantastic. This is a, a the largest phase of the of the acquisition um, at 155 acres, I believe. And it's it's really exciting to be able to do this. We don't foresee any major hurdles at this point. The sellers are are a little bit nervous about getting their, their funds into escrow in a timely fashion, which is why we're prepared to, to make the request. The MRC will be, be prepared to make the request um, tomorrow to the Conservancy to, to request these funds and bring them down from Sacramento get them into escrow so we can close this thing as soon as possible. Um, there's just a few items to check off the list, including a final review of the title report. There's some very, there's some materials on the site that, that should be removed before the MRC takes title, but um, no major impediments, just um, you know, knock on wood, clear, clear sailing ahead. So uh, we're very excited to bring this to this board and, and hopefully um, we'll, we'll get an agreement to, to move forward tonight. I believe we're also at least a million dollars less than the original uh, acquisition price uh, we committed to, right? Um, Three million dollars less. Three million. Um, That's what I said. At least a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, the the original the original option and purchase agreement that we signed in 2017 called for phase four. I believe is I don't have the exact figure in front of me, but it was over 14 and a half million dollars. So um, we didn't have fourteen and a half million dollars, and we hadn't had that. So we agreed on this price. The funding materialized. So, so here we are. We appreciate the the property owners and the representatives for sticking with us, especially the at this advisory time. committee. May I have a motion for this item, the acquisition of Triangle Ranch Phase Four? Ellen Harris. Elise Buckley. And Elise <laughs> Buckley Weber seconds that motion. Ellen first. Elise second. Thank you. How about questions or comments? <laughs> George. Yes. First of all, <clears throat> I want to thank Jeff for mentioning the property owners and representatives. Um, they were, I think, way beyond the average uh, seller and, and so forth in working with us. Um, I'm sure they could have uh, made more money with some of the other projects. But, um, I was just very throughout the, uh, the process, just, this goes back many years, that they uh, stood with us and uh, supported us. So thank you, Jeff, for mentioning that. And, and at some time appropriate, uh, we should uh, thank them for their uh, extra efforts. And also when Fran, um, Ms. Favley mentioned about Senator Stern, and um, it, his name was mentioned again by Jeff. Uh, I picture being at the event when those oak trees were planted. I picture uh, Senator Stern, our, our Chair Munoz, and many others on literally on the ground in the dirt. Uh, 
planting those trees. And I just don't think the MRCA will let those trees die after those who planted it put so much uh, effort in it and support over the many years. So we always uh, are thankful for those in Sacramento who support us. And uh, I just want to a real quick shout out for Senator uh, Henry Stern.